What's up guys, TechNotos here, and this is going to be your latest Google Now versus Siri virtual assistance test. So this is going to be running on the iPhone 6s and the Samsung Galaxy S8. And as you guys already know, this is going to be Google Now and this is going to be Siri. Now we're going to ask it a series of questions, some integrated with the phone itself and some just in general context and see what answers we can get out of them. We're going to start out with something simple such as the time. What time is it? So identical, both at the exact same time, although this one does provide a little bit more info on Google Now, Saturday, April 29th, and time in location. This one, all it does is show the time. What's the weather like in Los Angeles? So here on Google Now, you get a bunch of text readouts, which is very handy. If you weren't looking at the phone, you can hear a bunch of highs and lows and the location. Whereas this one just gives you the exact location and the weather for today. Although it does give a nice little uh, table right here. Who's the current CEO of Apple? So this is quite odd. Uh, Apple's own device can't answer Apple questions. Whereas Google Now can pull it up from Google.com and it has pulled up Tim Cook with the, the date and time he has been in that position. What planes are flying above me right now? Looking. Here is what I found. So as you can see, uh, this one Siri has pulled up quite a, ni a nice sheet right here with the, uh, the planes above you at the GOIP location where this phone is located right now. Whereas Google now pulls up an app and I'm sure if the app has been downloaded, it would have pulled up the same thing. But this is a Siri thing that um, people have found out a couple years ago. And this is probably more geared towards Siri. Turn off Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Turning off Bluetooth. All right. Turn off Wi-Fi. Okay. Wi Let's take a picture. So this one opened up the photo app uh, instead of the camera app. And this one does exactly what you want it to do. So camera has launched. Let's give Siri another shot here. Let's take a picture. So there you go. So we kind of uh, had a little hiccup right there, but it does launch up camera app. Let's record a video. Opening app. So both of them jumps right into the video recording app, which is fantastic. Let's make a phone call. Sorry, would you want to call? Let's make a phone call. Sorry, Let's make a phone call. With whom would you like to speak? So there you go. After three tries, fi uh, Siri finally understands what I'm saying. Let's download an app. Okay, here are some results from the web. So this one here, Siri does take the lead. It does open up the app store. Whereas Google Now does not open it up and it gives you a result from the web of what you're trying to look for. So there you guys kind of get the idea of how Siri and Google Now works right now. Both of them perform on par with each other in terms of opening things up. But as in terms of bringing up the contents that you want and how integrated they are, I got to give Google Now the lead. It's definitely the better AI within your phone. Samsung has given it another go um, with the Bixby key and originally the Samsung can't remember what exactly what it was like Samsung voice or something like that but the updated one is the Bixby key although it does not work in North America right now so all you're doing is just pulling up a news feed screen which is this one right here and it doesn't do really much and as this video for now um, I'm gonna leave you guys at this you guys definitely put it in the comments below and let me know which one you prefer do you prefer iOS, which is definitely more integrated in terms of all the devices going together, the Apple Watch, iPad, MacBook, or Google Now, which runs on all or most uh, Samsung Android devices? Remember to hit the subscribe and like, and peace out.